as we pick up our demonstration flight of um, flying a published hold in the GNS series navigators, that's not part of an instrument approach as a hold in lieu or as a missed approach, which is in the database, we are um, heading toward Northwest Florida beaches. Um, that's uh, Echo Charlie Papa. We have just crossed, if you're following on the approach chart, we have just crossed West G intersection and are en route to T-Box. And if you'll notice the approach plate, there is a hold at T-Box that, because it's not bold, you can see is not a hold and loop procedure turn. So this is not one that would be prompted uh, by the GNS navigator or for that matter, any navigator. And uh, so, but it is a hold uh, for sequencing purposes. And in our scenario, we have just crossed West G and we're heading to our T-Box and we are told to hold as published. For this hold, we need to basically treat it as a VOR. And so the only thing we need to do with this hold is um, once we're told, you know, hold is published, uh, which we know is a four nautical mile hold. It is uh, at T-Box. It is on the inbound course. We are already flying it to 260, and it's a direct entry. And so we know what it is. And the only thing we need to do with the navigator is hit the OBS button. But the OBS mode has also suspended automatic sequencing. So as we keep going, as we reach T-Box, it will not sequence to the next phase of the approach. As we pick up our demonstration, we're um, about a minute or two from T-Box. And our plan is we're gonna, we'll go to nav, we'll go to from nav mode to heading mode. And we'll plan our turn. Our turn is to be zero eight right turn to zero eight zero. And we do the same whether you're doing this with an autopilot or not, but we're using the autopilot in this case. Driving at waypoint. And notice we're not getting automatic sequencing, but instead we are making our outbound turn. And this is not a timed hold, this is a distance hold. Notice we still have our magenta course line, which was our last active leg. So we do have some situational awareness because we can see our inbound course. We've got a half a minute for our inbound turn. And here comes our turn, back to 260. And of course, if we had wind, we'd be correcting for wind just like we did, but notice how much situational awareness we have, even without the hole being painted on the screen. And we can continue this as many times as ATC needs us into the hold. And all we really need to do in order to continue our approach is remove OBS mode. And as you will see, we now have the automatic sequencing reestablished. You can see the curve that was missing before, and then we're done.